Harry Crosley is a freelance professional composer. His training and experience are in the field of composition and production of music. Using a computer at the Radio and Electrical Engineering Division of the National Research Council, Crosley is writing the theme music for a national television series. The facility, designed for research into problems of communication between man and machine, is made available to musicians and composers in order to study these problems in a creative environment. The question, can a computer system be designed which can make a meaningful contribution to creative work? How can we break down the barriers between man and machine so that a musician can express his ideas to a computer in his own language? NRC engineers are trying to find answers to these questions. Working in cooperation with musicians and composers, they're studying the use of a digital computer as a tool in musical composition. The computer is used not only as a musical instrument to generate the sounds, but also to help in the organization and production of the overall composition. Crosley prefers to prepare his composition plan and write his melodies in advance leaving only the final details of arrangement to be done with the aid of the machine. A younger, less experienced composer like Bob Sharkey finds the computer useful during all aspects of the composition. The small organ keyboard connected directly to the computer can be used to write melodies into the computer's memory and listen to the sound simultaneously. It's especially useful when experimenting with those aspects of the music which are normally contributed by the performer. Using the computer in a conversational manner, melodies, harmony, and counterpoint are worked out experimentally at the display console and then modified and remodified until the final version is obtained. A composer may also work with the computer using conventional music notation. Notes and rests may be entered into the computer's memory using positioning wheels and a digital keyboard. The melodies appear on the display screen as they're written. No knowledge of the computer or computer languages is necessary. At any time, the composer may ask the computer to play back the music he's written. He may then wish to make changes in the melody, timbre, or dynamics, and then listen again. And this conversation between man and machine continues until the composer is satisfied with what he's created. This is a sequence from the film Johari Window, produced by Carleton University.
In the sequence which follows, taken from the film Ologies and Isms, produced by the Nova Scotia Information Service, Crosley has obtained a completely different sound from the computer. Finally, here, in a film for Hoffman La Roche, is an example of a Crosley composition making use of a computer and musicians playing together. This music facility has been designed with several purposes in mind. It's first and foremost an attempt to improve communications between men and machines. But it's also an attempt to understand how computers can take an active part in the creative process and to show musicians and composers that a computer may be a useful tool to help them in their work. Animation in this film was generated interactively on the same computer which produced the music. Narration by Brian Smith.